Oh, it's looking good, guys. Before I take the eggs from this mom. You guys ever seen this before? Nope. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Uh, today is going to be a bit of a life update. We've also got a clutch being laid at home right now, so we're going to go back there and pull that for sure before the end of the day. We're down here at our favorite little hole of water here on the Central Coast, uh, one of our favorite and most frequented places. The kids have their nature group going on. You might be able to hear them behind me. Let's we'll see if we can find some newts. Ow, something stung me. <laughs> As for the life updates, as you guys know, if you watch, if you follow, you know I did that Spartan race and I'm, I'm gonna start training for the next one in fall. And I'm gonna be training really hard. I'm, I've been training really hard. Trying out the carnivore diet for a bit and starting pretty much every day with bacon and eggs and sticking to that as best I can. Maybe moving in a little keto with it, but really just aiming to train my body to be the perfect running machine. And I've never had something on the calendar like this before. I think it's really gonna help me get there, but just got back from Tinley and Disneyland, and I've got a nine-year-old and a four-year-old now, which is awesome. They're getting older, kids are getting older, I'm getting older, so that's why I'm really gonna focus on getting myself in tip-top condition. I've been running, I ran eight miles uh, just the other day, and I'm planning to up that because this next Spartan race I'm gonna be doing in the fall is a half marathon, so basically I wanna get myself to the point where I can run a whole marathon. At least 20 miles is what I'd like to be able to run nonstop before we do it, because that Spartan race has 30 obstacles on top of being a half marathon. So doing all kind of grip strength training and like lots of, lots of pulling stuff, body weight, and I'm just getting started. I'm on like day three of training, I guess you could say. Also, okay, one other thing before we get down there, see what's going on with the nature group. Next weekend, I'm going to Kentucky for a whiskey event. I'm wondering if if you guys would be interested in seeing kind of behind the scenes what's going on there my other channel the whiskey wimps my buddy matt our whiskey channel we're gonna we're going there for that basically it's kind of a networking thing kind of like the big reptile shows but for for whiskey enthusiasts so we're gonna go if i'm just curious if you guys like to see any of that trip or if you could care less please leave me a comment down below let me know and if there's enough people that are interested maybe we'll film over there next weekend let me know <laughs> hey Mushu. Huh? Hey T. Huh? Hey T. Huh? What daddy? Um, what do you know? Um, are you catching newts? Catching newts? Are you gonna catch some newts today? Yes. So are you looking for some? Hey Noah. What? I haven't seen any newts anywhere. Do you think we're gonna find any newts today? If we go up river. You think that if we go up river we're gonna find newts? Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good boy. Wait, no, no, no. Come here. Uh, Sit. Hilo, you stay. Right here. They're mating, they're totally, oh, stay, Hilo. Hilo, stay, sit. Oh, there's a whole ball of them mating. Oh my gosh, there's like five males wrestling over a female or something. Now they, I don't think they can tell who's male and female now. It's a big old ball of newts. That, isn't that cool, guys? Hilo, you stay back. Good boy. <laughs> They're all mating, dude. That's so incredible. I've never... You guys ever seen this before? No. I've never seen this before. Look at it. Swimming, swimming mating. Yeah, that's two newts. That's two newts swimming and mating. They're swim mating. 
Okay, well, hold on, T. Let's let them do their thing there. Well, Noah was right. That was pretty awesome. This is the spot for him, yeah? You got one? Yeah. Can I hold it? Can I hold it, Dada? Remember, after you hold him, don't wipe your face. Don't touch your eyes. Don't put your fingers in your mouth, right? Right? <laughs> oh my gosh, little noodle. <laughs> Bloop. <laughs> Just, just don't put your don't put your fingers in your mouth and don't yeah. touch your eyes or anything like that oh after, okay? God. They put toxin out of their skin that it, it'll really burn your eyes if you touch them, okay? Hey. I've had hot sauce in my eye. Oh, right, well, you don't want to have newt sauce in your eye. Oh my God, this is this is I'm a human treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> good, yeah, that's good. Oh, <laughs> catch it. Come on, do be fast. Got it. Oh. He's gonna try and bite me. Oh, it's fine, you got him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect to see this guy there. What you got, let me see. Blue belly lizard. What's what? another name for blue belly lizard? What do you know? I know. Western fence lizards, aka blue belly lizards. What about them? There's one in my hand. They have blue bellies. <laughs> They're reptiles. They're. They're falling over. <laughs> I think that they're um pretty sure they're insectivores. They could eat meat, I'm assuming. And sometimes if you hold them upside down and put them on their belly, they'll fall asleep. Yeah, they're kind of in distress when you do that. But that's all I know. Not really all I know, but what I want to explain right now. Ready? You want to do it with me? I'm right, we'll gonna go in. Are you ready? There you go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Hey! That's cold. <laughs> oh! Ah! Oh, that water's cold. What's the longest you guys have ever stayed in cold water before? Leave a comment down below. What's the coldest water you ever went in before? Leave a comment down below. another good clutch here. It's looking like it's all eggs and no slugs in there. We'll, we'll take a look soon. I oh, probably shouldn't get my face too close. She might take a pop at it, but she looks like she's being a pretty good mom. Those are some solid looking eggs under there though. This is the first time mom. She's a cinnamon lesser 100% het clown. And she was paired with an Enchi red stripe spot nose GHI clown, Scuba Steve. That's looking good guys. Before I take the eggs from this mom. We are still planning to let one of our ball pythons keep the eggs and hatch the eggs herself. Um, not this particular snake, but we do have a snake that's gravid. And when she does lay, we're gonna let her do that and keep you guys updated on the process. But this girl, we're taking the eggs and we're incubating them ourselves. So I wanna talk to you guys about some future plans I have and kind of an update too, uh, since this whole video is just basically like life update. We've been a single car family since March, 2020. And this is going to be the year when we jump out from that. And if you've been following along, you see some of the clutches that we are expecting. Not to be one of those people that counts eggs before they hatch, but I'm doing that a little bit. But one of the plans with some of the animals that we're hatching out is to get a second vehicle so I can start doing those 
educational shows again and drive around because right now it's just not feasible what with Noah having baseball games and practice and just all kinds of stuff where having just one vehicle just wouldn't work with me driving around doing a bunch of educational shows which I really want to get back into had some schools contacting me for the summer so that's the plan for some of these uh some of these babies that we're going to be hatching out here, you know, we don't know what the odds are going to be or what we're going to end up with, but I've got a pretty solid idea based on how many eggs there are and what's going to happen. Even if we hit the worst of worst odds, we should be able to make that happen. So, oh, is she going to crawl off the eggs herself? What you doing, mama? You about, you about to leave those eggs? You just going to do an extra circle around them, make sure they're real good? What's going on down there? She's like, I'm going to pop you in the face, boy. You think about taking these eggs. No. Freedom Breeder Rack Shelf. Get yourself one. All right, we're gonna get the eggs from this snake. Ready? My hands over here, my hands over there, my hands all over the place. Don't worry about my hand. Don't worry about my hand. We're just gonna do a nice little dance. And it's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna touch your tail right back there. Pull you off. Looking pretty good. The eggs are soft. They're rolling around just a little bit, but they're looking good. There's no slugs to spit. Mama's looking good. Look at these eggs. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super healthy looking eggs, zero slugs. We are on a roll this season. That is exactly zero slugs for the entire season. If you don't know what a slug is, it's a infertile egg. We've got none of them in here, so I can't show you what one looks like. I haven't been able to show you what one looks like all year. <laughs> <laughs> Blessed. Definitely, that's a good looking clutch of eggs, dude. I'm gonna get them into the old incubator box. Tell you what. <laughs> All right, stick these suckers in the incubator and then uh, set it, forget it, and call it. Just about good to go. Oh, there's nothing like a day pulling snake eggs, man. <sighs> it's a good feeling. I'm excited about this clutch. For what? My hair be done. Okay. Right here, this is the greatest salon in town. I've got itches on the back. Oh, this looks like a big bedhead back here. Are you fixing it? Yeah.